Hi everyone, it's Anna from Sprintex here. We are delighted to share that Sprintex Federal e-filing is now live on the Sprintex return system. In this video, I will bring you through the Sprintex Federal e-filing process that will allow you to e-file your federal tax return. When you complete the Sprintex questionnaire and proceed through the order breakdown and payment stage, you will then be ready to submit your 2021 US tax return. If you are eligible to e-file your federal tax return and you wish to use this process, you must confirm that you have not e-filed your 2021 federal tax return before. Once you select this option, you can select the proceed with e-file option to move to the next step. If you prefer to mail your federal tax return, this option is still available. You can download your federal tax return, print it, sign it and mail it to the IRS. There are also certain circumstances where certain individuals won't be eligible to e-file your federal tax return and these are outlined in detail in our Sprint Tax e-filing blog. If you're not eligible to e-file your federal tax return, don't worry, you will still be able to print, sign and mail your completed tax return to the IRS. If you're eligible to e-file your federal tax return and you wish to use this process, you can then select the proceed with e-file option to move to the next step. Next up is the e-file authentication. To e-file your tax return, first you must electronically sign your tax return using the information requested on the screen. This will help us to verify your identity and secure your data. We will ask you to provide information from your previous year federal tax return. If you filed a federal tax return last year, you can either provide your prior year adjusted gross income or your self-selected five digit PIN. If you e-filed your federal tax return last year, you can select yes to this question. If you have a record of your five digit PIN from last year, you can select yes to the question, do you remember your PIN that you used when you e-filed your federal tax return last year and then provide your five digit PIN in the box provided. If you did not e-file your federal tax return last year, or if you do not remember your five digit PIN, you can provide your adjusted gross income. Your adjusted gross income can be found on line 11 of your 1040 or 1040 NOR for tax year 2020. Please ensure that the information that you provide here is correct as your e-file submission will be rejected if you provide incorrect numbers. If you are a first time filer, please put zero for your prior year adjusted gross income. And if you filed an amended tax return for tax year 2020, please provide adjusted gross income from the originally filed tax return. You will be also required to select any five digit number to electronically sign your current year federal tax return. Please enter any five digit number other than 00000. 000 000 000. Please ensure that you keep a record of this PIN in a safe place. You will also need to acknowledge that this PIN is your signature for your income tax return and that you are now authorising for transmission. In the next section, you will be asked about your identity protection PIN or your IP PIN. If you opted for protection from tax related identity theft or you are a victim of identity theft, the IRS will mail you a notice with your IP PIN each year. An IP PIN is a six digit number that prevents someone else from filing a tax return using your social security number. The IP PIN is known only to you and helps the IRS to verify your identity when you file your tax return. If you received an IP PIN for filing your 2021 tax return, please enter it in the box provided. You'll be required to read the disclaimer and confirm that you have reviewed the information that you have entered and examined your tax return. You will also be required to read the consent statements and confirm your agreement with these statements. You will need to confirm that the social security numbers of each person on the return are correct. You will need to sign the above consent disclosure by entering your date of birth. Once ready, you can select the arrow to proceed to the next step of the federal e-filing process.
You will be sent a one-time password to your email address. Please enter it in the field provided to proceed with the e-filing process. Once you have entered your one-time password, your federal tax return will be transmitted to the IRS and they will inform us if it was successfully accepted within three to five business days. We will notify you via email once we have the information sent to us by the IRS and you can also log into your SprintTax account and check the status here. Please note that this submission refers to your federal tax return only. So if you also had a state tax return, please remember to print it out sign it and mail it to the relevant tax authorities following the instructions provided to you in the file.